school is located at 501 South Sapadilla Avenue in West Palm Beach, Florida. We draw students from across Palm Beach County. They travel here via public transportation, by car, also the tri-rail, and by school bus. Entering classes between 75 and 80 students in visual art. And what I found here is that most of the students, they really, they blow me away. Just because they, they seem more aware, more interested in learning. And I think primarily our job is to get them in more, to want to learn. We have so many different personalities in our faculty of around nine people that, that they can usually relate to, to one of us. They were very, very personal with the students. Mr. Griffin, for example, he was always somebody that I could go talk to, you know, no matter about anything. My whole interest was sparked, you know, from um, a teacher that I had, you know, when I was here. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to come there, I have to be here. I came to Dreyfus School of the Arts uh, because before I came here I was doing a lot of painting, a lot of drawing on my own and wanted to, to be a little bit more serious about it early on in my life and found out that this, this school was um, helping to train people who are at the high school level to go further with their, with their work. I have a passion for visual arts and I wanted to be able to express it more freely and create um, what I desire. And I wanted more of an art experience at school because I've always enjoyed art and I auditioned and I came here and it's a really big difference because here it's first priority. The academics here are also emphasized and uh, the art should help that. The focus of the visual arts program is to help our students uh, develop skills for entrance into quality arts programs. I'm an apprentice for a professional photographer that shoots for um, Jet and Ebony magazine and the Atlanta Braves and the Hawks and the Falcons. Since I graduated, I, I attended the, the Kansas City Art Institute. I currently attend the, the Florence Academy of Art in, uh, in Florence City. I graduated in 1994 when it was called Palm Beach County School of the Arts. I worked on a line of uh, football cleats at uh, my first internship, or co-op as we call it, at Cincinnati at New Balance uh, in Boston. I'm actually taking sophomore classes at AIB instead of freshman classes. I still feel more advanced, actually, than most students there. It's just kind of exciting knowing that I'm ahead of the game. My dream college would be to go to um, Boston School of the Museum of Fine Arts slash Tufts University so I could get an academic degree and a fine arts degree in one. You know, no piece actually comes out the way you first expect it in your mind. It kind of evolves as you make it. And for me, at least sculpturally, it's more of evolution from piece to piece. Art for me and all my peers, it's narrative and it tells about a specific part of who you are. It's about seeing the world in different ways and about experiencing your world in a richer, more visual, more aesthetic way. Getting into what is important, what's interesting, um, and having the means to do that, the tools to do that. At my old high school, we were really looked at as if we were always doing something wrong, but you kind of feel here like you aren't doing anything wrong and you're actually working towards something good. Even if a person doesn't uh, become an artist, um, I think that they're changed because of making art and looking at a lot of art and being with other artists. I think it's about bringing together different personalities with different backgrounds, different cultures, bringing all these people together that share this common ground of you know, being creative. The kind of people that I would encourage to try out for DSOA have to be open-minded and willing to try new things. I wouldn't put a label and say there's a specific type of person that should be you know, auditioning to come, come to school. Really, it's the kind of kid who would just want to go home and do art, would want to come to school and do art. One who's self-motivated and has you know, a passion for what they love to do, whether it's visual or dance or theater or whatever. It's all about practice, practice, and working and working. Maybe they know why they stare a little longer at soap bubbles than their friends do. We're not just going by, um, you know, this person's instantly the greatest artist. Talent may be part of it, but the listening directions are so incredibly important um, that even people that may not have had the formal training at first, we totally want them to come and audition here. If you're auditioning for Dry Fish, like don't be shy and don't hold back whenever you're there because all they want to do is see someone with personality come in and someone who can offer a unique 
persona to the school. Your art form is a form of expression of who you are, so if you put yourself behind you, your work and whatever you do, you really will, will give and show that and they will see that. It's a big plus. So a motivation has always won over talent. You know, they're, they're willing to, to work with, you know, someone who's, you know, who's, who's not the best at what they do. No one's going to be the best at what they do, you know, uh, trying to audition and to come into the school. They want to help you get to, you know, to that point where you can be the best. Read about art and understand what the purpose of art is for you and for our culture. Practice figure drawing, practice working fast and listening very carefully to the instructions you're given to follow directions. You know that these ideas exist, you actually have them to choose from now. So I think that it makes you more free having more choices. You have the freedom to show your artwork in like a national show, you have the freedom to speak your mind. Work in the hall and get the floor messy. Freedom to experiment, accept and reflect. The freedom to express yourself. The freedom to... The school gives you the freedom to... Freedom to develop my ideas. As long as you're dedicated to whatever you're doing and you're willing to actually stay and put the time in, you have pretty much every freedom that you can imagine because the teachers, all they want to do is help you get to where you want to be.